The regular season for the Knicks tips off on the road down in Memphis on Wednesday night. New York Post sports reporter Zach Braziller, he's got you covered on the Knicks, and he joins me now. Zach, ready for the season to start? Hey, let's go. It was a, It felt like a long preseason. It was a long summer. I'm ready to see an actual basketball game that counts. So. There we go. That's what I want to hear. The actual <laughs> basketball that counts. We get to watch it. All right, Zach, coming out of the Knicks 3-1 and one preseason, there might be some things that Knickerbocker fans could be impressed with. What did you see that gave you optimism that this team could be better than last year's squad that won 37 games? I mean, Jalen Brunson, he, he was fantastic in the preseason, shot almost 50%, averaged around 17 a game, almost five assists. And the first team offense, it just ran so smoothly. And when you consider they have a new point guard, it was very impressive. RJ Barrett was good. Julius Randle was moving the ball. He had 17 turnover, 17 assists and just four turnovers. Mitchell Robinson looks in just phenomenal shape, getting create, you know, killing it on the glass. The first team offense looks really good. You know, I mean, Jalen Brunson, here's the thing. He's a good point guard. Is he a great point guard? No. But when you consider what they had at point guard with injuries to Kemba Walker and Derrick Rose, it's such a massive upgrade. And he's going to make everyone's life easier. And look, and this is a guy who, look, he doesn't have to play with the ball all the time. He can play off the ball. And look, it's preseason. We don't want to go crazy. But I was just so impressed with how in sync that offense was with that first unit. You know, Evan Fournier hitting shots. There was a whole lot to like about just how they looked offensively, pushing the pace, moving the ball. Their assist numbers were high. Really interesting to see if that can carry over to the regular season. Now, one of the players you mentioned, Zach, Julius Randle, in the four preseason games, Randle, he looked like a different player, as you talked about, when it came to the decision-making on the court. So after a rough campaign last year, should fans be encouraged that he will have a bounce-back season? Yeah, I think it's it, – I think guarded optimism because he did look like he, he like he's buying into this, you know, less dribbling, more movement, more passing system that, 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 that Tom Thibodeau wants. You know, he obviously is going to have the ball in his hands a lot less now with Brunson here. R.J. Barrett needs the ball in his hands as well. But it's to me, it's easier to, to do it in the preseason when there's no pressure, the games don't count. Let's see, you know, 100-100 Wednesday night, a minute left. Is Julius going to move the ball or is he going to kind of, you know, dribble it and, and pound the ball into the ground? Yeah. So, you know, we got it. We got to see see it when, it, you know, when the pressure is on in a close game is when the real test comes. Is, are this is the are the Knicks going to continue to play loose and move the ball or are we going to get kind of isolation stuff and, you know, guys pounding the ball into the ground? Yeah. So that to know, me is, is that's that's the litmus test come now when the regular season happens. And if this could continue. Yeah, we will see what happens with that. Now, three of the Knicks' first five games, they're against non-playoff teams at the Garden. So when you look at the schedule, how important is it this season that they get off to a positive start? Yeah, look, it, it's, all, it's always important to, to, to have a home court. It's always important to get off and do a good start, especially when you are you weren't good last year. And we all know, you know, if, if the Knicks don't play well and, you know, it's going to be like, oh, they should have traded for Donovan Mitchell or – you know, is, is Tom Thibodeau on the hot seat? And look, when you're coming off a bad year, it's always good to start well. You want to build up, you know, confidence. And the only way you do that is by playing well and win, winning games. Now, look, they start, you know, bad. I don't think it's the end of the world, but it would behoove them to win some of the, especially these home games against some of these bad teams with the Pistons and the Hornets and, and teams like that coming to town. You know, you would really like to see the Knicks start out, start well here. All right, now it's on to the real games. Tough test for the Knicks against the Grizz, who were one of the best defensive teams in basketball last season. And Zach Braziller, he's going to be there for the opener. So, Zach, let's talk about that contest. No Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Grizzlies in this one, but the engine that makes Memphis go, that is John Morant. So how did the Knicks stop last season's most improved player? Look, I don't think you're stopping him. You know, you just don't want him to go go crazy. You know, you, you you got you to gotta try to keep him out of the paint. You know, I'm sure the Knicks will throw some doubles at him. It'll be interesting to see who, who guards him the most. You know, would, could we maybe even see R.J. Barrett on him a little bit? I, I don't think that, that's, that's crazy to think. You know, now Quentin Grimes not practicing today. It seems unlikely he will play. He would be a guy I think we could have seen on, saw on um, as Ja as well. Maybe Derek Rose a little bit on him. Um, 
I, I doubt quickly we, we guard him. But look, they're going to throw a lot of bodies at him. They're going to try to make him work for everything. You know, the key is just not not to let him just live in that paint where he can get dunks and find guys for open threes. That's, you know, obviously that's going to be the number one mission here is to try to contain him. Try to contain John Morant, not an easy task. Now, you mentioned some players. Obi Toppin, he practiced on Tuesday. Quentin Grimes did not. What's the status of both players for opening night, and how much PT can we expect to see for both players? I'd be concerned that Grimes isn't going to play. I mean, that, to me, is very, very possible. You know, he hasn't really practiced since that first preseason game he got into on Friday. Something's up with that left foot. I know there's supposedly it's, it's kind of the heel is a little bit of an issue, too. You know, he missed almost the entire preseason. He played, I think, about 15 minutes Friday night. Then he didn't practice Sunday, hasn't really practiced at all. But Obi, it seems like, is okay to go. I'll be interested to see what they do here. Does Thibodeau go just nine deep? Cam Reddish had a really, really bad preseason, did not take advantage of opportunities. I could see I could see Thibodeau kind of cutting that rotation down and maybe just playing nine uh, tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see what Tibbs does there now. Okay, Zach, money question. The Knicks will get the road upset and defeat the Grizz if they do what? Fill in the blank for us with the keys to the Knicks getting a season opening victory. It's two. If they don't let if they don't let Ja go crazy and they shoot 40% from three, gonna have to hit their threes. They're playing a better team, a better team in its own building, where you know the only team in the only team in the Western Conference that won more home games last year than the Grizzlies were the Warriors. It's gonna be an incredibly hard test. I just like to see it be competitive. You know, if the Knicks have a chance to win this game in the fourth quarter, to me, it would be a win just, just, you know, to set the, set the tone for this year. Now, look, no Jaron Jackson helps, but their Grizzlies are still really good. I mean, if John Morant doesn't get hurt last year, they might beat the Warriors in that, in that series. So I don't think Knicks fans should go nuts if this isn't a uh, great opener. All right, but you know, Knicks fans are going to be Knicks fans. They always have guarded optimism, sometimes too much optimism. We will see Zach Brazilla. He'll be down in Memphis covering the Knicks in their season opener. Zach, appreciate the time. Know you're very busy, and uh, we'll see how the Knicks do in their opening game. Hey, man, my pleasure. Anytime.